Most people in America are quite familiar with what is and isn't a well-behaved child. A well-behaved child is polite and politically correct at almost all times. Obviously, how they behave in the private aspects of their life when they're hanging out with their friends might be sadly something different. But the whole goal of parenting is not just to have children, but it is appropriate to expect parents to parent a socially well-behaved mind. A socially well-behaved mind knows that everyone has opinions, but a socially well-behaved mind educates the child that they do not have monstrous opportunities to abuse or use someone else's personal body or intellectual property in any way. We absolutely have in the educational system of America today for our children to understand the concept of plagiarism. Plagiarism is when you take someone else's words and claim them as yours, and usually it's done in documents and reports and journals that children submit in education, regardless of whether in they're in kindergarten or in you know remotely to the extent that they can write, all the way up through basically college. Now when I'm talking about this, we know that college students from foreign cities particularly some overseas in the Middle East, may not have the same laws or simply may not recognize the same laws on copyright, intellectual property, and, well, not only censorship, but the stealing of someone else's work. The theft and duplicating of intellectual property has been going on in China and Hong Kong for a really long time. Even though there are World Trade Organization laws that say you cannot do this, they still tend to do it. That shows you the immoralness of their society. No disparagement meant. But it has impacted, it has abused the people who wrote those things in their opportunity to make income. And American citizens are pretty frustrated about that. 